I just wanted to make a quick response to Tony's farewell video, so let's begin. Hi everybody. We are today, the 25th of February, 2022. As many of you know, a lot of friends that I've met on YouTube and all my family, a little over four years ago, my body started to get paralyzed. It started from the feet to the hands, the legs, my face, arms, pretty much the whole thing. I was scheduled to head to Cuba with my brother. And then on New Year's Eve, when I finally uh, went to the hospital and they accepted me this time, I thought I was going to die. And I don't know, maybe it's a thing that happens to many people when they think they're going to die. A lot of things come to your mind. I guess around that time, a lot of people were waking up to a lot of the truths of the world as well. What I got was Guillain body, but I got lucky. It only hit the outside of my body and not the internal organs. So I did make it through. And then I started to watch a little bit. I guess I had some free time on my hands. Because for all the time before that, I didn't know social media or anything like this. I had relationships. I had a regular life. I guess with a little extra time on my hands, I started going on YouTube and stuff. And I'm seeing all these things, different truths. And I go, maybe I'll do the same thing. I'll do a channel. Try and gather all these truths, show it to people. Who knows, maybe down the line, do a channel, make a few bucks on the side. If it's something that people liked. As you guys know, at no time did I ever lie. I've got no criminal past, no criminal history, nothing. I'm just a regular guy. And one thing leads to another. And then I started to hit, I guess got trapped in some bad pockets. Because I heard him first, I said, hold on. I said, hold up, wait a minute. No to the fuck you didn't get trapped in some bad pockets of the internet Tony. Everybody can tell you're putting on a fucking act right now. Seriously. Shut the fuck up. You found fucking YouTube. You weren't surfing the dark web looking for fucking red rooms. You were on fucking YouTube. You started off having a normal channel. Then after a little, you discovered how to livestream, and this is when you took up this Scarface bad guy persona behind the mask of a cross. This is when all your fucking problems started. Your ego exploded. Then you lost your main channel, and all your subs, and when this happened, you felt you lost power. It was somewhere around this time you started becoming this asshole to everyone, except your close friends. Also, you started becoming more and more vulgar, and started going after any women who disagreed with you, and calling them horrible names and screaming at them. You saw the shock value this behavior was giving you, and it was making you feel like you were getting some of that lost power back. Your behavior just got worse and worse. You had 90% of the people think your actions are disrespectful and vile, but you always had those 10% of your close friends that you have brainwashed, that defend everything you do and encourage you, and these 10% of rejects is all Tony needed to fuel him, so he felt unstoppable. And now Tony has more enemies on YouTube that I can count, and he's proud of this. Tony wears his most hated achievement like a badge of fucking honor, because he is addicted to this attention like a drug. Sorry for talking your ears off there but, I call it how it is, and Tony's putting on an act on this video. It's pathetic, but let's move on anyway. I guess originally I always did think that, uh, if ever I did hit some hard truths somewhere along the line some people would come for me. The last thing I thought, I had no idea, I was naive. I had no idea how terrible it was, and how evil some people are. And criminals are criminals. You weren't dealing with criminals. You were dealing with people who had enough of your bullshit. And some of those people knew how to make videos to expose you. And I guess they knew that to come for me was not going to do nothing. The only way to really hurt me would be to try and hurt my family and friends. And so as you guys know, they ended up finding out who I was. Not just by a name. But then they found my family. They doxxed and did some terrible, disgusting videos on my family. My brother, my sister, my brother-in-law. Many, all, the, all the members of my family and their acquaintances. All illegal stuff. All disgusting stuff. All things that I could never do, I never thought could be possible, or that people could get away with. Seriously? You need to shut the fuck up. With your little poor Tony pity party, and own up to your actions. It's your fault your family got involved. You could have stopped at any time. Let's see a few clips of little innocent Tony just doing what he does every single day on YouTube. Hey, Rowan, check your last email that I sent you, you fucking disgusting fat slob bitch whore that you are. Yeah, I know. Let me repeat, oh, Crafty. I was tripping out, man. Was... Unless you're okay with it, is show me Sasquatch. 
was near you and your daughter, he would fuck your daughter. Is that clear in your mind, Crafty? Your daughter would be his fuck toy. Yeah, I'm sure you are. The fucking whore is coming to fight for her pervert friends. No. Fucking possible pedophile nut sauce. Do you know that sauce means orgy? According to the FBI terms, you fucking slut. Do you know that he has an avatar with the one eye symbol? But you I'm fucking so bitch. Tony, 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 shut up. I'm, I'm fuck busy you. Being a slut. Who the I'm fuck you think you are? You're you're fucking slut. Go you're fuck yourself. And if I find out you touched a child, I'm gonna fucking personally do everything I can to make sure you head to hell, you fucking whore. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, and you with your little 33 and your number. Could you be a bit more obvious, you dirty whore? So again, go fuck yourself, you little bitch, and tell your fucking cuck whore to continue being a good little boy and be nice and not to participate. Or again, I'll rip you to shreds on the internet. Shreds. You never met a bad motherfucker like me, whore. Listen to the words carefully and you'll get it. I want you to think that I'm so fucking crazy that you would be stupid to come after me. That you wouldn't dare come after me. I dare you. Listen, Diana, you fucking dirty bitch whore. Shills get paid. Or they are allowed to scam. So you about Tiffany's making her money, you fucking dirty lying bitch. I'll give you her WhatsApp and you're going to find out how she traps people to her paying channel and then shoves flashlights up her ass for money. You fucking bitch. Pig that you are. And you know it. You fucking dirty slut. Imagine that every day, sometimes for 13 hours or more, Tony made it a living hell for people. Tony attacked anyone and everyone he either didn't like or who disagreed with him. You know, I'm trapped in there and it's hard to get out because you want to defend and I wanted to help my family get out of this because of me. And from there also even friends that helped along the way. I had no idea that they would go to these measures. To Tony's family, he could have prevented everything if he just stopped attacking innocent women and claiming innocent people were peds and apologized or just left YouTube, but his ego was too big, so he doubled down every time, got worse, made more enemies online, and caused more problems for other people and himself. I would just like to formally apologize to all my friends, people like Boltgun, the Cone, Penny especially, and many other good people, people around me, that got attacked, doxxed, lied, edited videos, disgusting accusations, Tony, seriously shut the fuck up and stop making it sound like you're the innocent one. You caused all these problems. Everything is your fault. Take fucking responsibility for fuck's sake. It's not my fault, but it is my fault. Because had I never started this journey, none of this would have happened, I guess. Well, won't you look at that? It's your fault, Tony. It's all your fault. You're not a nice person. I want to especially apologize to my entire family. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Especially the children. He just goes on and on and on with the same sad Tony Pony show we all have seen before. I'll put the link in the description for anyone who wants to sit through the full half-hearted half-ass apology. I'm just going to run through a couple more things he says than give you my conclusion. I want to apologize to my family that you guys got dragged into this. On my end as well. I have filed again an official report with the Cyber Terrorism Division of the RCMP. I have filed a police report as well on several of these people that have attacked illegally, criminally. The only one that needs to be filed is on you, Tony. And you want to know something, Tony? All my clips are categorized in separate folders, in alphabetical order. I'm not fucking worried. I guess I did too. I, I, I took it too far. You know, with my language and everything. It's not accepted in today's world. But I never broke a law. Not one. But I do truly apologize to everybody who got attacked because of what I've done on the internet. 
Tony, you really just need to take one more big gulp of your pride and realize you cause all this. You're the only one to blame and just go away and never look back. So yes, this is the end of this. Be careful out there, people. I want to apologize again to all my friends, all my family. Truly, you have no business getting dragged into this. My brother-in-law has had to hire a lawyer and we do hope and plan on proceeding legally. So I guess if there's one thing, because as you guys know, I'm not a rich guy. So I will still put my PayPal. And if anybody wants to help so that I can help my brother-in-law to pay the lawyer bills, that will be truly appreciated. There won't be any need to call that lawyer, Tony. See, your nephew reached out to me today and said they don't support you in any way and just don't want to be any part of this. I told him that you're the one who manifested all this all on your own and you're the only one who can resolve it. And that would be by either apologizing to all the innocent women you've attacked and slandered and apologize to my friend Rose for the disrespect you showed her on her death day and thereafter or get the fuck off YouTube. So now that you've gave your goodbye speech, I've taken down every video that had any picture of your family in it. So I kept up to my end of the deal. If I missed a video, please let me know. Wish us luck. I love you all. I wish you all peace. And above all else, please never forget to pray and protect our children. Peace. Tony, you're so fake, it's laughable. Anyone who has known your behavior for more than a few days can see right through this act of yours. If any one of his family is watching this, I'm telling it how it is with Tony. This isn't the first time you've had to talk to him for his inappropriate behavior online, but hopefully it's the last. In conclusion, just wanna say again, all of this is nobody's fault, but Tony's. He doubled down after every warning that a video was going to be put out unless he apologized or left. Also, Fuck you, you're a coward. You didn't even have the balls to show your ugly face on camera during this forced performance of yours. You didn't have the fucking balls to apologize to Rose. You're a disgrace and an embarrassment to your family. I only hope they see through your bullshit and realize you're the only one to blame for all of these problems. I'm not sorry for shit. I stood up for the innocent women you attacked and bullied because I witnessed the stress you caused them. I heard it in their voices on the phone and online. No man should ever attack women like you have. Your actions Tony were criminal. You went far beyond your typical online harassment and bullying. You also bullied and attacked women who were severely mentally disabled. You attacked a Christian group constantly disrupting their show to tell them they all worship Satan and suck Satan's dick. And this wasn't just a one-time occurrence, it was every motherfucking bloody day. I could go on with examples all similar to these for a few hours, but I think you all get the point. So to his family, if you have any questions you can just leave a comment on any of my videos. It still amazes me how Tony cared more about his ego and continuing his repulsive actions than he cared about his family getting dragged into his YouTube drama. To Tony, there's no excuse for your disgusting actions over the past year. You're not a real man. Real men treat women like queens. Every evil, vulgar, offensive thing you have called someone or have claimed them to be is exactly the person you are. I cannot think of even one good deed you accomplished while using this platform. If anyone can, please share in the comments below. It looks like you're all out of credits, Tony. So I guess that means it's...